All right, so here's a classic retirement problem. What you've got is you're going to retire uh, exactly 45 years from today, and you've determined that you're going to need $20,000 a month in order to live starting the day that you retire, and you're going to make uh, you're going to receive a monthly payment starting on that retirement date and then receive those payments for a total of 30 years, actually 30 years times 12. That'll be 360 separate payments. Now, currently, you have a certain amount of money in your retirement account. You've got 8000 bucks in your retirement account, and you're going to earn a rate of return on that. The question is, how much must you save at the end of every month until retirement in order to be able to fund this? And so we have to do it in two separate steps. And so let's talk about what those two steps are. The way this is going to look is you've got a period during which you save and a period during which you spend. And the question is, of course, how long are these various periods? Well, let's talk about the spending periods first. Here, where this star is, that's going to be the day that you retire. And we have a total of... One, two, three, up to 360 different monthly payments. And how much are you going to get? Well, on this first day, you're going to get 20,000. That K means thousand. On the second, uh, at the that's at the beginning of the first month. At the beginning of the second month, you're going to get 20,000. At the beginning of the third month, etc. Each of those is 20,000. And at the beginning of the 360th month, you're going to get $20,000. So each, each one of these payments is occurring at the beginning of the time period. And so this is an annuity due. So there's an annuity due. And what we're going to do is we're going to save up for that. And so we have 1, 2, and we had 45 years. 45 times 12 is 540. 540 different payments that we're going to make. And so we're going to make a payment now at the end of each month. So we'll have a payment here, payment here, at the end of the first month, end of the second month, at the end of the 4, 541st, and finally a payment at the end of the 500, that's not 541, this is 539, uh, and at the end of the 540th as well. Let's go ahead and make that 539. All right, so in, anomalously, you might say, we have on this day that we retire, we're going to make a payment and we're also going to withdraw. Well, that's just the way the problem is stated. That's the way it's going to work for us. That may not make a lot of sense, but that's the way the problem is stated. So the question is, is how, how big are those payments going to be? Well, let's go ahead and do this again in two steps. The first step is figure out how much you have to have on the day that you retire. So how much do you need on the retirement date? All right, and that's where we have that star. That retirement date is, is where we've indicated that star. And it's very important when you do these problems that you always make very clear which date you're doing valuations on so that you'll know whether payments are occurring at the end of the period or at the beginning of the period. All right, so what we'll do is we'll do this first part on this sheet, and then on the second sheet we'll do the second part, which is to figure out the payment. All right, so let's go ahead and do the calculations then. Let's uh, remember we're going to do this on the BA2+, plus, but this payment, these, these $20,000 payments are an annuity due, and so we'll actually have to set this up to do it as an annuity due. So we have N is 360. We have, uh, what we need to do is we need to, and I'll show you how to do it, we need to set this to BGN, begin, to indicate that the payments are at the beginning of every period. The interest, uh, the interest rate, I slash Y, that was 9% a year, and so it's 9 over 12 for every month. The future value, notice the future value is zero because we're not going to leave anything to our children. And the payment is, let's go ahead and make it uh, $20,000. So remember, we are receiving $20,000 every month, and we want to figure out how much we need as of this arrow, as of this star, 
uh, in order to fund that. So let's go ahead and open up the BA2 Plus and figure it out. All right, let's go ahead and do the first thing, which is to set the BA2 Plus so that it's going to calculate annuities due rather than ordinary rather than ordinary annuities. And the way you do that is notice this little up here. It says BGN. You can't really see it on this all that well, but BGN. So second payment. So it's second BGN, and it says end. Well, what we want to do is we want it to say begin because right now it's set up to make payments at the end of every period. So this set statement says we need to go ahead and use the set in order to change it. And so the um, set is second, notice the set up here, set. Now it's changed it to begin. Now I'm always, I always hit enter again just to make sure, although I think that's redundant. And so if we hit clear, notice it'll say BGN. That's telling you that any annuity that it calculates is going to be an annuity due where payments are at the beginning of the period. So let's stick the numbers in. 360, that's the number of periods, so that's N. We've already set it to begin. 9 divided by 12, that's 0.75, that's the interest rate. The future value is 0, and you do need to always set that 0 because something else might be there from a previous problem. And then 20,000, that is the payment, and so we would like to compute how much you need, and that would be the present value. So I hit the Compute button and the present value, and I came up with $2,504,279. So let's write that down. We need two. 504279. So basically what we've done is we've changed this problem where we have 20,000, 20,000, 20,000 for 360 periods to one where we need 2,504,279 as of this date. So let's go ahead now and switch to another sheet and show you how to do that part. Alright, so now our new problem is pretty doggone simple. We have one, two, and this looks like the one we solved just a little couple of minutes ago. 540. And we need 2504, 279. And now our number of periods, first we need to remember to set this to end so that we are calculating an ordinary annuity because all of our payments, payment, are at the end of every period. And we have $8,000 right now. All right, so we want to set this to the end, meaning set it to calculate ordinary annuities. N is going to be 540. I slash Y is going to be the same as it was before, which is 9 twelfths. Um, future value. What's future value going to be? That's what we need to accumulate, so that's going to be 2504, 279. And the present value has got to be the opposite sign. It's going to be 8,000 because we're going to put in 8,000 bucks and then withdraw 2504279. $2 and we want to compute the payment. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do this computation and real quickly here. All right, so in order to do this computation, we want 540 to be in. We want 9 divided by 12. Whoops, we're going to set this to, to end in just a second. 9 divided by 12 to be I slash Y. Let's go ahead and set this to end. So second BGN and now second set. All right, now this is set to end. And I always hit the enter button just to be sure. And let's see, the future value is 25. 04279 and the present value is 8000 hit the plus minus button because we need that to be negative and so now we have compute payment and the payment is 27711 so that's how much you have to save And 
And notice it's that's at the end of every month. Notice that on the calculator it showed up as a negative number and of course that's consistent with the direction of the signs that we chose which is the present value that original eight thousand dollars that you put in that was a negative number the future value the amount that you were going to withdraw that was a positive number so payments in this case are going to be negative and withdrawals will be positive positive. 